and this is what it looks like on my dash as far as the audio source you know it says echo dot sur whatever that sur stands for okay gentle people char the tech guy here so i'm in the hrv and i plan on doing a video showing you how you hook up the uh echo dot well actually i'm not going to go the to the set up part of it because there's a lot of videos on how to hook it up what i want to demonstrate is something that you can do where it lasts longer in the car or whichever vehicle you drive without actually having to worry about it cutting on and off every time you enter the car because most of the videos that i noticed that they do online really show you how you connect it so there's a couple ways you can power source it you can use a usb port if your vehicle come that way or you can use one of these that has that little usb port in the back and you plug it up into your cigarette lighter but the problem is every time you power the car on and off it's going to lose power and you know what happens after that you get that little spinning ring around where it's actually rebooting so to prevent that from happening i did some research and found one of these online all of this is just a little power source to make it portable but at the same time you can power source the battery pack by plugging into that little port in the back and actually keep it powered so that way if you're running low on juice you can actually recharge the battery while you're using it and also you know you can get in and out of the car like if you stop at the store just to pick up some snacks or whatever instead of you coming back in here you got to wait for it to power back up because it's plugged into the usb port in my car all i have to do is come in here and it's still fired up i don't have to worry about waiting for it to reboot and also it's connected through the bluetooth in my car but if you don't have the bluetooth in your car you can use the audio jack in the back if you have an audio input if you don't have one of those then i don't know how to help you <laughs> you're going to need some type of audio source in to get the sound into the car stereo so if you don't have one of those then this is not going to work for you but if you do this is a good source right here and it gives you a lot of flexibility you know you can literally drive up to your home and turn the lights on and do all kind of different stuff you can start up the air condition you can start up the heat you can uh, turn on different devices. So when you walk in, it'll be good to go. I mean, you can even disarm the alarm system instead of running to the house. You might have a handful of stuff. And you know, when you go into the house, you have to drop all that stuff, run to the panel and enter the code and all that. But I can do it straight from here. All I do is pull up and I can just tell her to disarm. But not only that, you know, you can play all your music that you have in your playlist. You can ask for information while you're driving, all that different stuff. So it's like bringing the smartness into your car. So now your car is a little bit more smarter, but it's actually using the Echo device to make it seem like it's smart. And like I said, the setup is real simple. You know, I've seen other people do it different ways. If you want me to do my version of how I set it up, you know, just leave me a comment and I'll do a video on that one. But like I said, after you get it set up, then it's a cool thing you know you can be driving down the street and ask for anything stuff on your calendar you can add stuff to the shopping list you can even call people while you're driving so it used the echo as a, the calling device and let me do something right quick alexa call eshd work number i'll call the mobile number You've reached Eastside Health District. We are currently closed. If this is a medical emergency, please dial 911. Alexa. 8 o'clock. Hang up. So there you go. The only problem when you do phone calls using the Echo because it uses the device speaker and microphone on the device, it won't Bluetooth it out to the car. So maybe Amazon would do something about that later on because it's like you have to use the onboard speaker just to make that phone call and i wish it would be a way that you can bluetooth that sound out where you don't have to worry about listening on that little device like that and you can hear it through your car stereo but maybe that's a feature they're working on for down the road but for now you can do everything else you can check the weather you can ask the time you can set alarms you can do anything while you're driving alexa play my reggae playlist your playlist, Reggae. 
Alexa, stop. Alexa, what's on my calendar for this week? There are no events scheduled for this week. Alexa, what time does the Braves play today? The Braves will play tonight at 6.05 p.m. away against the Nationals. See, so all those cool features, and you can do all of that while you're driving. You don't have to sit there and try to look stuff up and, uh, you know, go into this problem of texting and driving and getting distracted. Alexa, send a text to Errol Peart. What's the message for Errol Peart? Cancel. Canceling. So you see, I could have sent him a text message. So that's what I'm saying. You know, this makes it a little bit more cool where you're driving down the street and just, you know, asking her to do stuff for you while you're driving. And you can pay attention to the road. So that's what I want to demonstrate in this video that, you know, this thing is a cool little device that you can use in your car and have that smartness where you can make phone calls and chat messages and texts and list the music and ask for other information. Now, one thing you want to do if you're going to call like, say you have a Chinese restaurant that you usually go to. The best way to get that where it actually makes that call because it doesn't have that feature yet where you can look up local places. One trick I realize is if you put that contact in your uh, phone, then it will use that contact as the dollar. So, for instance, the Chinese place that I usually go to is called China King. So I put China King as a contact and a phone number. And what it does, it looks up that in my contacts and I can call them and place the, an order that way. Alexa, tell a bulb to disarm. Give me your four digit pin code. Cancel. Okay. I wasn't going to give out my pin on this video, so, but I just wanted you to see that it works. So now I can walk in and I don't have to worry about fumbling around with the keys and then rushing to the pad to try to turn off the alarm before it actually goes off. It's already disarmed by the, time, by the time I get here. But I don't really have to do it that way. You know, I already got it where it knows when I'm home and it automatically shut off. But I just want to show that you can do that too. And that's pending if your alarm system is her enabled. If she's enabled to control your alarm system, then that will be possible. If not, then it's not going to work. So if you're shopping around for alarm system and you want it to be echo enabled, then you need to do some homework and find out. Okay, so I'm going to end this video. I just want to do this quick demo of uh, my echo device and you can put it anywhere in the car you know wherever it, you can wherever you want to place it as long as it's not in the way you know i wouldn't put it on top of the dash another thing i wouldn't leave it inside the vehicle for a long period of time like if it's extremely cold or extremely hot you know you don't want to leave it out in the car all day while you're at work i wouldn't trust it with the, all that heat depends on the summertime same thing with the cold i wouldn't put it in extreme cold weather either if you're going for a short period of time, like say you're running into Walmart or you're running to the gas station or somewhere like that, I don't think you really need to take it out. But it's portable enough where you can, I guess for ladies, you know, with big purses and stuff like that, they can slip it in their purse. And for the guys, you know, if you go into the office, you can take it in there and put it in your desk and let it charge up. So when you, it's time for you to go home, then you can take it with you. Now, when you're going on road trips, I know it's rated to last for six uh, up to six hours. They say up to six hours. But if you're going on a trip longer than that, you know, you can use your USB port or this, like I said, to keep it charged while you're driving. And when you get out, you might stop for gas. You might stop to use the restroom or whatever. And you don't have to worry about it rebooting. I know mine doesn't, you know, because it doesn't trigger the power on and on every time. And that's the reason why I got this one, because like I say, it doesn't cause the device to keep rebooting every time it loses power. And it doesn't really lose power. The battery pack loses power. But the device is not losing power because the battery pack is actually giving it power. So I've been trying to do this for a while now, and the stuff that I ran into wasn't working. So I'm like, there's no way I'm going to do a video on that. I need to find something that works first before I start promoting it. So I can promote this battery pack because I know it works like a charm. It works, I'm gonna say 99.9% .9 of the time. Every once in a while it might trigger a reboot, but it's so rare and few be between that, I can still recommend it as a good source to use. And like I said, once you hook it up to your Bluetooth, it works like a charm. I personally use my Bluetooth port. 
I don't have uh, actual input jack, an audio input, so I can only use the Bluetooth. Okay, so I'm gonna end it right there and uh, close out this video. Like I say, if you want me to do a video of how I do it, my way, then I would do that video. Other than that, there's plenty of videos on YouTube that you can find how they actually connect the Echo Dot to the car stereo system. Alexa, see you later. Goodbye.